Okay. And the same is for altitude? Yeah. It's, altitude a, is a, pretty, it's a soft limit, though. I've always had an interest in NASA in grade school. I remember I just kind of grew a fascination in it from textbook history classes and then watching some of the shuttle operations on TV. But I never really understood how to get to NASA. And I grew up in a very small town in New York, so we didn't have exposure to STEM classes or engineering or science career fields. So it wasn't until um, the Air Force, actually, when I was going into college that they actually introduced engineering to me. Well, upon graduation, I commissioned as an officer and then I stationed out at Edwards Air Force Base out in California and I worked in developmental tests for the Air Force and about the time my service commitment ended this job opening at Armstrong had opened up in the operations engineering branch and it was kind of like a dream come true because I've always had this interest in the, in the path kind of forged its own way so I had this newfound interest in aeronautics and airplanes and here was an opportunity to be hands-on with the aircraft and I've just always appreciated NASA's mission and vision of exploring our own curiosity. And here was an opportunity to work and be able to do that. And so on, SA-34, confirm ready to take off. I'm Kay McMurtry, and I'm an operations engineer at NASA Armstrong. All right, stable, ready, ready, fast. An operations engineer uses engineering judgment to ensure the mission success and airworthiness of aeronautics research, airborne science, and space technologies, as well as the air aircraft that take them into flight. 148, all right. So we're kind of like the interface between the technologies and the aircraft. So we take that technology, we help develop it, ground test it, integrate it, and do the flight execution, and then get that data that the researchers want, and then hand it back to the researchers for analysis. My first assignment when I came to NASA Armstrong was with the F-18 aircraft, NASA 845, and we had to integrate a flat screen monitor in the backseat of the F-18 and remap the window space so that a backseat pilot could fly the aircraft using the monitor only with limited peripheral vision out the window. And that was to gain more information on how a cockpit might be designed for a supersonic aircraft that might require different configurations of the cockpit. I didn't really know that there was a whole aeronautical side, and I didn't really, I kind of had this feeling that NASA was for the super crazy smart PhD people who invented everything and went to Harvard. And I enjoy the, the community outreach, outreach quite a bit just because it gives me an opportunity to introduce engineering to the younger generation since I felt that in my time as a, as a young kid, I didn't have that exposure. So I like to try to make sure that kids are aware of that because it's just something that I noticed was lacking from my school days. So that's a lot of energy that we can be harnessing. So, so I've developed this passion in aeronautics, this passion for aircraft. And I wanted to become more familiar with how they operate and I wanted to gain that knowledge base in aeronautics a little bit more intimately, so I decided to get my private pilot's license. It puts you in a position where you have to always be thinking on the ball and kind of plan ahead. So that is a challenge, but it's also exciting and thrilling at the same time. And then being able to kind of see the world from that vantage point is just really interesting and unique. So my husband's actually a private pilot as well, so we can kind of do that together. And it kind of builds my confidence to have another experienced pilot with me. And we have plans this year, this summer, to go out into Northern California, maybe into other states to f just explore and go to cool places. So I've recently moved from being an operations engineer to a management position within the branch. And what's motivated me to take that career path is the fact that it provides an opportunity for me to learn more things from a wide variety of people uh, within the branch that have different experiences, viewpoints, or perspectives. And that the or ops engineering branch has really provided an eye-opening experience for me to learn through them. And that's just been the greatest part of my job and what's kind of keeps me motivated every day.